for 22. Griff. Great. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Mac McLeod. He flew out in his yeah. last at bat. Iowa. In there, the and it's 0-1. Mac McLeod. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole. Two 0 and 2. Two strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. On, he pops it up. And not the start they were hoping for as the leadoff man is kept off base to start the ninth. Ready yeah, once man. again, Damon Clem. He singled his last time up. No Clem. balls in one strike. One out, nobody on. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Into the box now. Paul Campos 0 for 3 now to this point. Left yeah, here. not his game so oh, far. Yeah. He's such a good Left hitter. Throw. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Two. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they have come back to even up this four-game series at a game apiece as this one is over. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Redbirds came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Adrian Garcia First gets the, the win in Redbirds. relief, his sixth Rerun, of the season. Chris hit. Gray no hammers down the save, his day. 27th of the campaign. So that's Time a wrap here game. tonight hours, for Mark Dan, DeRosa. Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The for Show. For more, find tonight. us on Twitter and at MLB The please. Show. Drive home safely. Your Chris please. Gray enters from the now pen now as they've the saved their closer until Number this 22. deep into extra innings. Chris. Gray. Standing in, Antonio Blanco. He flew out in his last at bat. He swung on and missed Antonio. for the first strike. Blanco. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Sherry sprinting after it, but he won't get there. It falls in. Well, you don't want to do the math on a one for seven, but the base hit might leave him with a little more positive taste from this one. 100%, Matty. Give now me that, that knock all day the long. The last base. thing you want yeah. is an 0 for seven. That's like Ramirez. two days of being terrible. Luis Ramirez is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. Fouled off. Ready with another two strike yeah. offering. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Digging in for his second at bat, Ray Murillo. And with absolutely no bullpen arms left, this is going to be their guy until the game is over or until they decide to roll some position players out there on the mound. Obviously, this is never a position you want to find yourself in now as a manager, Matt, but fielder. it does happen Rafael. from time to time, and maybe Rafael. I should start getting that old shoulder loosened up. Rafael Vasquez is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And he strikes him out here for round number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Coming to the plate now, Chris Gray. He'll get to take his first no cuts pitcher. here. Chris Gray. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is line to left. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he is going to have extra bases to start it out. And your winning run will be in scoring position. 
When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning, you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas, put some solid wood on it, and found himself on second with a leadoff double. Stepping into the box, John Kyle. For Iowa, the second baseman, John Kyle. First delivery to him on the way. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. It's 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. So it was a strikeout swinging. John Kyle becomes the first out of the inning. The batter, the shortstop. Matt. Grounded back up the middle. Backhanded. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ready for another shot now. now Joey Baisley. He got on top of one and Joey. was a ground-out victim Baisley. last time. In there, no balls and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So digging in now, Gregorio Saucedo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Fastball called for strike two. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit, try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Gregorio Saucedo now sent packing it. for the fourth the time in this one. Wow, no. we've seen some really impressive well. pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Foul ball! Ready with another 0-2. Popped up. Wood waits on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Stepping in now, Antonio Blanco. Antonio yes, he pops the first pitch Blanco. foul behind the plate. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. And he strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Trying to pick things up Don't where we left off. 22. Chris Gray. Now well, the reliever Rick. remains in the game Gray. here, having pitched very well, but this is a longer outing than what he's used to. It is, Matt, and I really tip my cap to him for gutting this thing out right now. On the other side, I worry they're being a little bit too greedy by leaving him out there. There are options left in the pen, and it would be a shame if all his hard work got undone because he started making some mistakes in location due to fatigue. Now a hard liner toward short. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Settling in now, Luis Ramirez. Here comes the first pitch. Luis. In there, strike one. Ramirez. Oh and one. And now a pitch on the way. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. When you're down here in the minors, it's all about honing your skills and getting someone to notice you. Well, I've been noticing this guy on the mound all game long. So I have to think this outing will go a long ways towards getting him some good recognition. He's set. Here it comes. Well-thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. If this doesn't boost your confidence on the mound, I'm not sure what does. That's six pitches and two strikeouts in the inning, and that was a really nice fastball for the punch out on that one. Standing in now, Rafael Vasquez as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Velasquez is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Now batting, John Kyle. He'll step in trying to do something about this 2-2 tie. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Velasquez is there, one pitch, one out. Digging in to try it again. Now Mac batting. McLeod. Ready with the Mac. first pitch. Here yeah. it comes. McLeod. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing and one. And he fouls this one off. Ready on 0-2. And, and he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Ready now, Joey Baisley. He got called now out Maddie. on strikes his Wait, last time through. Joey. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Velasquez is there. And that retires the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. So a big spot here in stepping in, Chris Gray, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Oh, and now look at this. The pitcher gives one a ride to deep left, but he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. At the plate, Gregorio Saucedo. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. This is what every pitcher likes to have. Another 0-2 count really puts the hitters on the defensive side in multiple ways. You can go fastball up. You can go breaking ball down. One of the keys getting ahead, and he's done a very good job of that so far. Sherry comes on now, and he has it one down. Now at the plate, Sean Welch. Now his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped oh, out yeah. in foul territory. Whoa. Called strike at the letters, 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed, 0 and 2. Well, based on that swing, I'd say this guy's got his A-game fastball working right now. The only way you're going to get to that pitch is you got to make an adjustment and get that front foot down a little earlier. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging in, Antonio Blanco. Center field first pitch of the at-bat on its Antonio. way. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Ready with the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. And he strikes him out here for out number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Stepping into the box, Luis Ramirez and the pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen. As you can see there, they're asking a lot of him in this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. Popped up. Jimenez over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning.
next to hit will be the pitcher, Ray Murillo. The pitcher. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. The one one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Garcia is in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. In now, Rafael Vasquez. Now batting. First the pitch on its way. In there for strike one. Okay. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Wood over to his right. And the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on. Well, the man you see there didn't start this one on the mound, but his performance certainly was impactful. That earns him the Topps Player of the Game Award. Yeah, he really stood out to me in this one, guys absolutely electric stuff on the mound and he racked up 10 strikeouts because of it solid performance as he leads his guys to victory three to two the finish in tonight's game Chris Gray earns the victory out of the bullpen his fifth as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort Ray Murillo is saddled Our with the loss after giving up only one earned. Red so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB of the, the Show. Game, for more, follow us on Twitter minutes. at MLB The Show. Thank you for joining.